I got example three from chapter seven here. Um, we're looking at matching a graph to a given rate of change and a vertical intercept. And check to see if the video is going to work perfect. Okay, so what it's asking us to do here is determine so which graph has a rate of change of one half and a vertical intercept of six. First thing we get to look at is remember this is vertical so there's my vertical intercept because there's my vertical axis so my vertical intercept for this is six but it is for this graph too my vertical intercept is six mark this my graph isn't as neat and tidy as the textbook. Now, we need to figure out the rate of change. The rate of change for this one, I have two points here. I have one here and here. I'm using different points than what the textbook is, so it's a good chance to see something. I go down six when I go over so that's negative six over 12 so my rate of change here which in this case it's a distance and time question so my speed is going to be negative six down 6, positive 12. I'm going from 0 to 12, 6 to 0. Okay, so down 6, over 12. Rate of change, always simplify. So that gives me negative 1 half. Okay, so that's my rate of change. That doesn't fit. Some of you are probably going to go, oh, it's 1 half. I got it. No, it's negative. So that won't work. So we're going to look at the next one. And that's why I put these crazy lines in here. So I'm starting here at this dot at 8. And I'm going up 2. And I go. And I got that in the wrong spot. At least I knew I made a bad graph. Here it is here. I go up 2 from 8 to 10. And I go over 4 from 2 to 6. So in this case, the rate of change is going to be 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Remember, now that's the positive 1 half. So matching a graph to a given rate of change and a vertical intercept, the vertical intercept, the place where it crosses the y-axis. In both cases, we had a vertical intercept of 6. Rate of change, negative, positive. So here's a little thing you can always remember. I call him a slope guy. If my graph does this, I have a negative slope. My graph does this, or rate of change, I have a positive rate of change. This is an undefined rate of change. Zero rate of change. So positive slope goes up this way, a positive rate of change negative rate of change. So those are some of the things you're going to know right away. Negative because I'm decreasing as I go to the right. Increasing as I go to the right. Positive and positive. Not doing anything. Not. It's just a mess. We'll get more into that in a bit. But that should help with example three and some of the questions. 